Welcome to uh, Stockholm, Dr. Good. Um, you've spoken about the need to improve the therapy of elderly CLL patients with comorbidities. Can you briefly expand on that? Yes, well, I mean, uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia is uh, a disease of the elderly, actually. So the median age at diagnosis is 72 years, and uh, there are almost half of the patients uh, newly diagnosed with CLL being 75 years old or even older. And we know that um, around 50% of all CLL patients have major comorbidities, so typical comorbidities like hypertension and uh, coronary uh, heart disease, heart failure, diabetes, uh, musculoskeletal problems. Uh, so um, the, the, the uh, proportion of patients uh, with CLL uh, um, being elderly and having these uh, uh, comorbidities is, is very large actually. And there's an unmet need uh, for, for improving the treatment actually because um, in, in uh, recent years um, studies in CLL have uh, mainly been undertaken in younger and uh, fitter patients actually. So bearing in, bearing in mind what you've just said, what's the rationale for using a, a CD20 monoclonal anti antibody in these patients? Well, um, uh, using a CD20 monoclonal antibody in combination with chemotherapy has been uh, very uh, successful actually in younger and fit patients. Actually, uh, this treatment has been shown to prolong life in these patients. And so f it's just natural to also uh, implement that principle in the population of elderly patients. Now there you cannot go with the exactly the same treatment um, you apply it to a younger patient, uh, more aggressive treatments. And uh, therefore, you have to combine the CD20 uh, as one treatment principle uh, with uh, anything else, a milder chemotherapy treatment or, uh, or even uh, uh, other uh, compounds uh, that uh, have less toxicity than a um, very aggressive chemotherapy. But the principle to use a CD20 targeting appears to be unique in CLL and therefore there's a good rationale to do that also in elderly patients. And turning uh, spe specifically to the study that you've presented at this meeting, can you outline the details and what were your main findings? Well this is the CLL11 study and this is a, a randomized controlled trial with uh, three treatment arms actually uh, conducted in the population of elderly and unfit uh, CLL patients. The, the three treatment arms are uh, a comparator arm, which is chloramicil monotherapy, and um, then we have two experimental arms, chloramicil plus rituximab, that's uh, a licensed CD20 monoclonal antibody, and chloramicil plus obinutuzumab, or GO101, that's a uh, fairly new CD20 antibody. And we currently have done the pairwise comparisons uh, of the GA101 arm versus the control arm and of the rituximab arm versus the control arm. And um, the, the main result currently is that uh, the combination treatments are superior to the monotherapy with chloramicil alone. Uh, and uh, this is the main finding at, at this stage. We so far do not know um, or have not done the direct comparison of the two antibody arms. So is it too early then really to say anything about the implications of this study uh, for clinical practice? No, I think it has immediate impact on uh, clinical practice already now uh, because uh, the current results mean that uh, if a patient is put on chloramnosyl treatment or is already on chloramnosyl treatment, uh, he or she should receive in addition a CD20 monoclonal antibody now because it now has been really shown in a large phase 3 trial that uh, the addition of a CD20 monoclonal antibody to chloramicil will significantly improve the treatment and the outcome of uh, such a patient. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.